All right, guys, the next problem is 4.47, and it says that a man with a mass of 75 kilograms steps off a platform 3.1 meters above the ground. He keeps his legs straight as he falls, but his knees begin to bend the moment his feet touch the ground. Treated as a particle, he moves an additional 0.6 meters before coming to rest. The first part of this problem asks, uh, what is his speed the instant his feet touch the ground? So this would be before his knees start to bend. Um, what's his speed then? So the formula we're going to want to use for this, since we're given um, the acceleration of gravity, we're given his acceleration, um, more or less. We can assume that it's the acceleration of gravity and we're given the height of the platform is going to be v squared is equal to 2 times um, the acceleration times the height. And once again we're given that the acceleration, we can assume that the acceleration is the acceleration of gravity. So then that becomes that velocity is equal to the square root of 2 times 9.8 meters per second times the 3.1 meters of the platform. And then that turns into, well once you do the math anyway, that becomes the square root of 60.76. And at this point we want to keep an additional significant figure just so that our estimate is a little bit more accurate. Um, and then when we take the square root of that, we find that his velocity, the moment his feet touch the ground, is 7.8 meters per second. And we want that in two significant figures since that is the minimum significant figure amount from our inputs. And then the second part of the question, let me erase this part right here asks us to find um, his acceleration as he slows down. Um, so that's going to be the, his acceleration for the 0 0.6 meters between when his feet touch the ground and when he comes to rest. So from that again we can use our equation v squared is equal to 2 times the acceleration times the height. Um, because we're given his height, the 0 0.6 meters, um, during for the duration of the acceleration, acceleration and velocity. So that's going to give us that the acceleration is equal to v squared over 2h. So that is going to be the 7.8 meters per second squared, squared, um, from part A, because that's the velocity during that time period, over 2 times 0 0.6 meters. And then that comes out to be um, 60.8 divided by 1.2. And when you divide that through, that comes out to be 50.7 meters per second squared as the acceleration from his feet touching the ground to when he comes to rest. And then part C is to draw a free body diagram and find the net force. So with the free body diagram uh, we can just draw him as a particle right here. And we know that the force acting on him at this point in his life is his weight dragging him down, which is his mass times the acceleration of gravity. And we know that for every action there's an equal and opposite reaction, so there's some other force that is also pushing him up. And we know that his net force it has got to be the force that's pushing him up minus the force that's pulling him down, which is his mass times the acceleration of gravity, his weight. 
and then we can figure out exactly what um, let me see here and this little subset here is uh, the net force I should kind of explain that so um, we know that these two forces have to be equal so we can say that F itself is equal to mass times the acceleration of gravity and so then we can plug this into the equation at the top there and say that the net force is equal to um, mass times acceleration minus mass times the acceleration of gravity. And then we can, um, just using that equation right there, that force is equal to mass times acceleration times gravity. And so now, let me erase that right there so I have a little bit more room. Okay. So now just coming back here, um, we have uh, that our net force was equal to force minus mass times gravity is equal to our mass times our acceleration. And then we bring that over to find our force is equal to mass times acceleration plus mass times gravity, which is equal to our mass times acceleration plus gravity. And then we can just plug all of these nice things in from our problem. We know that our guy's mass was 75 kilos and that his acceleration was 50.7 from his uh, from part B plus the acceleration due to gravity. And then we have that that is 75 times 60.5 and that is equal to 450, uh, 4,537.5 newtons as the net forces acting on him as he's falling. Oh, and then the second part of that problem is asking you to take um, that problem as a ratio of his weight. So then we just take this part right here and uh, take each side as a ratio of his weight, which is going to be his mass times gravity is equal to mass times acceleration plus mass times acceleration of gravity over his mass times gravity. So then that is equal to um, these kind of cancel out right there and right there that turns into ex his acceleration over the acceleration of gravity plus one is equal to that initial ratio. So then we can just plug in our values there. It's acceleration again from part B was 50.7 over the acceleration of gravity times 9.8 over 1 or plus 1 excuse me and that is equal to 6.17 and when you do this this is um, acceleration over acceleration plus a unitless number so the answer is just 6.17 as a unitless number itself and that concludes thank heavens Number 47.